Alright guys, welcome back to Dreams. I'm gonna play a little game here called The Edge of Daylight. This is by Patty with 3Ds. Five. I think I played something by him before. Or them. Sorry. Not sure what it was, but I'll probably look for it. Uh, a man wakes in his grandmother's house. Smells like... Sorry. Smells smoke and investigates. Based on my story of the same name, available at thesquawkback.com, inspired by a dream I had. Support me at co-fi.com slash pat underscore bren and follow me on Twitter at pat underscore bren underscore writer. Okay, let's see what this is about. I awake in my grandmother's sitting room, gripped with terror and confusion, and smell something ac acrid. Asford, sorry, like plastic burning. I head to the kitchen, turning on my phone, I guess to use as a light. Okay. Oh. Okay, I can't go any further than that. I've seen that painting in a few games already. That picture on the wall. Let's go in the kitchen. Something's burning. Nice. Very uh, Resident Evil like. Anything burning? I don't see anything on fire. But the stove is black and cold. The curtains close, and there's no smoke smell here at all. I go back to the sitting room. I like this narration a bit. It's pretty cool. So, if you read before, this is a dream the creator had. That's when I realize the smoke is coming from outside. As I go to the window, the smell intensifies. I cough, I almost choking. The smell reminds me of something I can't remember. That's not me, that's my controller coughing. You alright, controller? I should put a mask on you. The edge of daylight is dimmed through the black clouds. I can barely see the you of the garden. I go check on my grandmother and, mo grandmother and mother in their rooms. I'm trying to read fast because the captions kind of go a bit quick. So there's smoke outside. I'm gonna go check on uh, mom and granny. See if they're okay. Oh, I have to turn on the light. Didn't see that. I'll check that later. Cool mirror. Mm, this is mom's room. Mom, where are you? My mother's room, like my grandmother's at the end of the hall, is empty and the window is closed. Where could they be? I go back to the kitchen. Four forty six is that afternoon or morning? Let's check grandma's room. I see into granny's room, the window is shut tight. Her yellow prayer books I didn't read that in time, sorry. Let's go back. Do 
two paintings, one in summer, the other in winter, of the same scene. My gr grandfather, Joe, and his friends mix cycling up a rural lane to where they worked on a farm. The winter painting is somber, the summer one almost blindingly bright. There's nothing on any of the channels. What's going on? My mother and grandmother are here, drinking tea. They've opened the windows. I slammed them closed. What are you doing, I say? Didn't you smell the smoke? Of course, says my mother. That's why I opened the window, to let it out. What is it? I told you it was coming from outside, my grandmother says. I hope it's not one of the neighbors' houses and got on fire. What, it, what is it, my mother repeats. That's when I checked my phone, nothing unusual, except there's ne news newer than six hours. No social media posts. No, nothing. We look out the window together. What is that? Raining oil. <laughs> okay. Not sure. What, not sure what that was at the end. All right. Um, a bit confused by the ending, but uh, also not really much of a horror game, but it's still a bit eerie. Um, so. Yeah, so this was inspired by it by a dream he had. So at the end there, he, he checked social media. There was nothing whatsoever. No Facebook, no Twitter. Nothing at all. I'd be bored. Well, I'm at Grandma's house, so she could probably cook me something nice to eat. Uh, that was by Patty5. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you in the next video.